Good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing on this dark, dreary, rainy Sunday afternoon? I guess, ooh, chilly out here. Look at the sky. There it is, y'all. I think we're going to get it in a little while. I'm not sure. But anyway, I just came out here to show you the what is going on. As a matter of fact, I shouldn't even be out here. I forgot. I just got out of the shower, and that's not cool, y'all, when you just get out of the shower and go out there in the cold like I just did. Oh, boy. But anyway, let's hope I don't get sick of how that. I wasn't out there but a half a second. So, ooh, I forgot. Because that's why I have the, uh, my head is tied up because my hair is still wet. But, nevertheless, it is dark, dreary. Not that cold, though, because it's not that cold in here. And uh, just before I had uh, gotten into the uh, shower, I had heated. Well, I have one heater on right now, but the over, you know, not like my big heater, the big heater is not on. Just that little heater I had in the bathroom to heat the bathroom up because I didn't want to get cold in the, you know. And so, and then I had this little one in here when I came out. But just that quick, I wanted to show you how uh, quickly, uh, am I recording? How quickly the weather changes. You know, like this morning. Now, this is the same day as the other video, which is a long video because it's taking a long time to upload. And I had made that video earlier, the one about taking out the trash. Well, I did take out the trash. And to my surprise and amazement, it even though the wind was really howling, I mean, blowing, whistling and everything. And I got out there, I said, I got to go. I said, it ain't going to take me but a, you know, a minute or so to get the trash out of here. And so when I got out there, it w didn't feel that cold. As a matter of fact, it was almost comfortable. But, you know, the, the wind chill wasn't, seemed like it just wasn't that cold that, you know, I expected it to be because of all of the howling that was going, you know, all the uh, howling of the wind that was going on. But now it feels like, you know, when I went out this time, it feels like the temperature had actually dropped. But I don't know, because I'm just sitting here doing my game. I, I don't know what's going on. But I know my hair is still wet, and I know I don't have no business out there. Well, I'm not used to that. You know, that's all I need is to get myself into uh, some kind of sick. But I went out there just with my sweater. You know, I usually have on a jacket or a hat or something when I go out into the, you know, the winter like that. Wow. So how y'all doing this afternoon? I'm not going to uh, tarry very long up here because I already made a video. But I just caught, came up here. I thought I'd give y'all a little laugh about the dark, the dreary, the rainy afternoon. And I believe, we, like I said, I believe we're going to get it. I haven't heard the uh, weather report yet. I was just sitting here watching... Uh, uh, some weather that's in, I think it's in Chicago. I don't know where it is. I don't know what's going on, y'all. But anyway, they had the um, migrants. Wait a minute, migrants, yeah, the people that are coming over here from wherever. Uh, they had them warming up in a bus. That's, a, that's so sad, in a way of speaking. You know, because I understand how these people feel. They need a better life. They want a better life for their families and their children. I get it. I get it. But we're not the only country in the world. They can't do that to any other country. But if they must come, they must come. I mean, what, what can you do? You can't turn them away. I mean, it's only like you or me. We would want, if we wanted what was best for our children and there was another land or place, country to go, that we felt that we could get it. We could get a better life. And our lives would be a little different, a lot different and a little easier than it is in the country that, you know, that you migrated from. I get that. 
I really, really get it. Because that's the reason we came up north. We was down south. And my mother one day, she, she had told us, you know, she had came up here before we even uh, immigrated. What, what is it, immigrated when you're in the same state, same country? Well, anyway, when we came up north, we came from down south. And uh, my, I had two brothers. My two older brothers had already came up north before us. And so my mother just had me, my sister, and another, you know, my younger brother. We were the only ones that were left down south. And she said, yeah, y'all want to go to Connecticut? Yep. Because her family, basically, they were already here. Her mom, her sisters, her brother, they were already here. And we were the only, you know, part of the immediate family that was left here. And so one Sunday, I'll never forget it, I was 14 years old, and my mother said, y'all want, y'all ready to go to Connecticut? I remember having a little... <laughs> A little cardboard suitcase. Do you remember cardboard suitcases? Do they still make those? But I didn't have that many clothes, you know. As a matter of fact, when I first came here, I uh, I really felt pitiful because, you know, going to school and everything because I didn't have, you know, what the other children had. And so in a way of speaking, this is the same thing, but in a different, you know what I mean, a different situation. The situation was a little different. I'm still in the same country. But I understand. And how they come over here with it so little. They hardly have nothing. What did they do while they were on the road walking? Did they have food? You know, I, I often wonder about that. What about the children? Did they have, were they warm? Did you have the food? Did you have the milk or whatever you needed for the children, the babies and stuff? How did they all come together like that? You know, I, I, just out of curiosity, but you know, like they say, curiosity to kill the cat. So I'm going to leave that alone. And I'm getting ready to go in here and fry my poor child. Make, I don't think I'm going to make the potato salad. Though. I think I'm just going to have, because after all, I'm going to put some potatoes in the green beans. So that would be having double potatoes if I make potato salad. And that's what I'm trying to get away from, y'all. I'm trying to get away from eating so much starchy potato. But that nabbit, they're so good. And on that note, I'll see y'all again on Monday.